So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to install the Sapphire Pulse Radeon RX 5500 XT 8GB card. I'm also going to show you guys how to uninstall your old drivers using DDU, remove your old video card, install this card, and then install the latest and the greatest drivers. Stay tuned. Whoa, hold on. If you like videos like this, make sure to click like, subscribe, and the little bell notification icon. That way you know when I come out videos just like this. Again, I'm gonna show you guys how to upgrade your computer and install a brand new video card. In this case, again, the Sapphire Pulse Radeon RX 5500 XT 8 gigabyte. So in this example, you're upgrading your computer. You're gonna be removing your old video card. And then I'll also show you if you didn't have a video card, but you're gonna be removing your old video card and then installing the Pulse. Okay. I and it doesn't really matter what video card I have in here right now, if it's higher end or lower end, I'm just giving you an example of what to do. So first off, what you're going to want to do is come over here and go to wagnardsoft.com and you're going to want to go ahead and download DDU Display Driver Uninstaller. So we'll just scroll down a little bit, download the latest version, scroll down a little bit more, Click here for download and support, and then scroll down a little bit more, and then we'll go to official download here. At the same time, we're gonna go to amd.com. Okay, then from here, we're gonna go to drivers and support. And then we're going to go with graphics, leave that default there. AMD Radeon 5500 series, select that. And then select AMD Radeon RX 5500 series and then select the RX 5500 XT card. And then we click Submit. Make sure you download the right one for your operating system, be it Windows 10 or Windows 7, and then click Download. All right, that's gonna take a few seconds. All right, now with both of those downloaded, what we're going to do is we're gonna to go to the location for DDU, just double click on it, and then let's put it in C D D U one. Okay. And now we know we have in the done location, the AMD drivers. So we'll just go to the location that we extracted that to D D U one. Now we know exactly where it is. So now we're going to go ahead and boot into safe mode. Now to do that in windows 10, right click on the start button hover over shutdown or sign out, hold the left shift key while you're doing this. Now press restart again while you're holding the left shift key. Okay, then from this menu, we click troubleshoot, then we click advanced options, then we click startup settings, restart to change windows options such as, this is going to boot us into safe mode. So then here we click restart, now we're at the startup settings. So then here we press the number four for enable safe mode. And then enter your password if you have one. Okay, so once in Windows, we just close this out and we go to the location where we extracted DDU. Okay, so now I have an NVIDIA GeForce card in here. So what I'm gonna do is click select device type. Okay, so then we have NVIDIA here. If we had an AMD, we select AMD. If we had Intel, we select Intel. But in this case, we have NVIDIA. Okay, and then we'll come to options. I've already done this before, but you want to make sure that this right here, prevent downloads of drivers from Windows updates when Windows searches for a new driver or device. Make sure there's a check mark there, because if not, the next time you boot in Windows, it's going to download the driver it wants to from the Windows repository, so or the Microsoft repository. So we'll click close here, we place the check, 
and then I'm gonna click for this purpose, I'm gonna click clean and do not restart. At home, you're gonna to wanna to do clean and restart. So clean and do not restart. So it's gonna go through its process on installing the drivers. Clean, uninstall completed, would you like to exit now? We're gonna go ahead and exit. Now at this point, we're gonna go ahead and shut down the computer, and then I'm gonna bring you closer while I do the upgrade. All right, so depending on your video card or if you don't have a video card, you know, this is gonna change. Now, if you don't have a video card, you're gonna to want to make sure you open up two of these slots here. You're gonna open up the second one typically, and the third one, depending on your case and your motherboard. So to open it up, we just, Unscrew the PCI slot cover. We are removing removing a video card, so I'm just gonna go ahead and unscrew the video card thumb screws here. And then I'm also going to be removing the two PCIe eight pins. I probably should have left that screwed in, but that's okay for this purpose. I'm gonna hold it in place, and then I'm going to squeeze on the little retention mechanism and pull this out. I'm going to do the same thing right over here. Okay. Okay. So now one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and disconnect the power cable on the back of the computer just to make sure there is no power going through the system. Okay. And then tap the power button a few times just to make sure that all the power is drained from the system. So perfect. Now, right over here, you're gonna notice there's a little tiny clip. Let me zoom in so you can see it. Okay, right over here. Now, when I press that, the card's gonna slide out a little bit. So let me zoom out so you can see that. Okay, it's just gonna move a little tiny bit. Okay, you may not have even noticed it, but it just went a little bit out. Now at this point, we're free to go ahead and pull the video card out. Just pull it lightly. Oops, forgot to remove the HDMI connection, but that's okay. So we've just removed the video card. Okay, now the reason I push this little lever over here is that holds on to this right over here. If you pull on that and pull the card out while that lever is still locked in place, you may end up damaging your motherboard. So definitely take note of that. Just gonna go ahead and sit the card right up here. Now we're gonna go ahead and grab the Sapphire Pulse Radeon RX 5500 XT. All right, here we go. So one thing to note, and I did this when I was pulling the card out, I should have mentioned it before, make sure that you're grounded before you touch anything inside the computer. So when you take off your side panel, just touch the case itself, the metal, the aluminum part. That way you get all the ESD out of your hands. Okay. So then now at this point, what we're going to do is we grab the video card. We're going to go ahead and slide the PCIe slot or the PCIe card right here into this PCIe slot. And then you're going to notice that little lever that we push down, it's gonna pop up. And I'll zoom in in a second, just to show you how that works. So I'm just going to go ahead and slide it in. So also make sure that you have this lined up right over here so that you can screw in those two screws. This particular card takes up two slots or two spaces. And now that it's slightly in there, I'm going to push lightly. Okay, and you heard a little click. That little click is that little lever pulling up. So let me zoom in so you can see that. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead, push that. The card slid out a little tiny bit. You can notice it more on this video card. And now I'm gonna push it in and you're gonna notice that little lever go pop up. So one second. Okay, popped up, locked the card in place. Okay, and now that we have that, we're going to go ahead and 
screw in the thumb screws or the regular screws, however your case has it. You're going to want to go ahead and push this up a little bit. That way it does not sag. While you have the screw in there, that way you know not to push too far up. Okay, so I have that. All right, and now we screw in the second screw. And now because the other card was a triple slot card, we're gonna go ahead and put another slot cover back in place. And then screw that back in. Again, this is only if you're removing another video card. If you don't have a video card in there already, you're just gonna be removing the slot covers. All right, so we have that in place. And now you're going to be using, and you need to plug this in, the PCIe power connection right over here, the eight pin. No matter what, you need to plug that in, okay? And in this particular case, I have two six plus twos. You're only going to need one. You're going to need the entire eight pin so make sure they're connected. And this was the little locking mechanism I was telling you about. Let me zoom in right over here. You can see how that opens up and closes. So we're just gonna go ahead and slide that in right over here. Okay, and that little clip just locked in and that's the little click you heard. And don't worry, I'll clean up the cabling in a minute. Now I'm gonna go ahead and plug in the HDMI connection. All right, so now at this point, we're ready to go ahead and power on the system and install some drivers. So let me go ahead, zoom out and get the screen back on for you. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the system. Oh, I forgot. We have to plug back in the power cable. All right, so you see PC's booting up. Now we're gonna go ahead and log in. Now it's gonna look really funny because we don't have any drivers installed. So now we'll just go into File Explorer, the download section. And we'll go ahead and install the new Radeon drivers that we just downloaded. Now, the DDU we ran earlier, I recommend to run, even if it's a fresh install of Windows and do it for Intel, AMD, and Nvidia. All right, and we'll click install here. Okay, and then additional options in case you want to change anything here. Now, if you've ever had any drivers or anything along those lines, or maybe even if you haven't run DDU, select that. That's gonna go ahead and remove any AMD software that you've had in there before. I'm gonna go ahead and select it even though I've ran DDU, but just to show you guys how it works. Then we'll click install here. Again, here, it tells you it's going to install it in program files A and D. You could change it if you'd like to. I'm gonna leave that default, click install. Okay, now it'll tell you the system's gonna restart in two minutes. Radeon software installation will continue after the restart. Again, that's going to strip the older drivers if you have it and install the newer ones. To be safe, I like to do DDU as well and restart now. Okay, so then after logging in, the drivers are gonna go ahead and start installing. This will take a few seconds. Okay, so as you saw, my screen went blank just for a little bit. Don't get scared if and when that happens to you. Okay, so then I'm gonna go ahead 
you can leave this checked or unchecked. I'm just gonna uncheck it for myself. And I want to launch the AMD Radeon software. You'll notice how the graphics have changed a little bit. They look a little bit nicer. Click finish. Okay, then this gives us all the information on the welcome to the new Radeon software experience. Shows us everything over here and then a quick setup. Then we'll do gaming for myself. Continue. And then here you have the entire experience. So this is a fun little utility. Definitely learn it. Here they give you your options for driver and software, device status, if you have anything else connected to it, upgrade advisor, under gaming, all the different games installed, it picks it up and then lets you optimize the settings, media, compatibility, streaming, scene editor and performance. So we have a lot of great tools here and we'll definitely go over this in the review itself. But again, for now, this is Iggy showing you guys how to install the physical card for the Sapphire Pulse Radeon RX 5500 XT 8 gigabyte card, how to remove your old card, how to install the new card, and then how to install the drivers and the software. That's about it for now. Stay tuned, guys. There is going to be a lot more on this. Iggy out. See you guys.